Lewin. He lives. Can you hear me, Lewin? Awake. No strength can prevail against this sickness. What good are swords in the face of this plague? What? What, what in the name of... Amadon? Yes, it's me, my friend. I... have been dreaming. As you awoke, you said something about a plague. What did you mean? I, I don't know. It was as if I was someone else. I remember a... plague... and despair. The Great Plague. Nearly 300 years ago, it devastated the Dunedain of this region. You were sharing the dreams of those for whom this tomb was made. Well, let those dreams remain with the dead. I want no more of them. How did you end up in this borough? I recall we were making good speed through the Downs, eager to return to our friends. But a fog began to rise and it became hard to find our way. We began to hear voices calling to us, as if from far off underground and then the dead were all around us we, we fought them but then I felt the presence of something else something stronger more evil I saw a shadowy figure seize hold of Kalaran and he fell senseless but it came for me that's all I remember but if I was brought living into this tomb then the same would be true for Kalaran we need to find him that's what we intend to do. Are you strong enough to join us? Yes, I think I can keep up with you. Let's go before any more dead things decide to turn up. Welcome back, everyone. My name is Kyoden, and this is Lord of the Rings War in the North. And we're still in these goddamn burrows. Three episodes in. Oh, yeah, no, more like four episodes of this. And still in the god these goddamn borrows. Can I stop dealing with undead now, please? I know I'm I'm just being a total dick, but I'm I'm greedy. I'm going to be greedy. Oh, you can't roll through the pots. Dude. You face a ranger now. Oh, I missed here. I already got. It was just stumbling around with no head on. What's about to break this time? Oh, it's my shoulders. My my pauldrons are about to go. Dude, if you would wait for like three seconds. Okay, it did not take that long. Oh, I remember this boss battle being a complete dickery. Oh! Who or what is that? Defend yourself! 
how do I damage him? Oh, so we got to beat him up into the right lord. Let's go. Cool. Oh, really? I thought that would protect us. That's what these are for. Oh, whoa. Well, I guess after one more wave, it goes away. Hopefully this is the last battle. Yay! Come on, just die already. Well, that was weird. It's a hard thing to see a good friend slain. Harder still to see his remains desecrated in this manner. Oh, he really is dead. At least now he is at rest. But you, how are you bearing up? First black riders, now barrow whites. This is more than men would have to contend with. We've gathered many rich treasures from this. Thanks, but it would only serve to remind me of all of this. Yeah. You keep what you have won. You've been through a terrible ordeal. Perhaps you should come with us to Rivendell. Or we could take you to Bree. It's not far away. No, I, I feel my strength returning. I'll soon be myself again. And then I will bear Kalaran's body. That would be fitting. I hope that he will rest in peace. Farewell, Lord. Oh, it's so pretty. Elrond, Aragon, cool. God, this game is so Elodan. well done. It is good to see you safe. Eladan and Elro here told us of your actions at Fornost. Mm, Such courage that's the same voice actor. brings honor to all the Dunedain. Indeed. It is an honor to welcome one so brave to my home, and your companions as well. I am grateful for what you did at Fornost. If Agandaur's forces had joined in the hunt, there is little chance that I and my charges would have made it here to safety. I am glad to have been of service. What befell you after we parted? I found the hobbit Frodo Baggins and his companions and led them through the wilderness, hoping to throw the Nazgul off our trail. All the same, five of them attacked our camp at Weathertop, and Frodo was badly wounded. After that, the enemy pursued us almost to the hidden pathways of Rivendell itself. We never would have saved Frodo, except that we had the help of Elrond and his people. How did you manage to escape them? The river of this valley is under the power of Elrond, and it will rise in anger when there is need to bar the ford. As the Black Riders attempted to pursue Frodo across the river, they were swept away in a great flood. Hmm. 
So that is the end of the Black Riders? No, ring wraiths cannot be so easily destroyed. But we can hope they were unhorsed and uncloaked. Without their mounts, they are crippled and will be forced to make their way back to Mordor as best they may. These ring wraiths, as you call them, what are they? They were once mortal men, great lords, warriors, and sorcerers. They were ensnared by Sauron, hmm. who lured them with promises of wealth and power, and gave to them rings of power. But they were deceived, and quickly oh, became slaves of the Dark Lord's will. They ceased to live as men long ago, and now exist only as wraiths. They are shadows, invisible and immaterial. Given shape only by the robes they wear, ah. yet their power to inspire terror and their mastery of dark sorcery makes them terrible foes. I still cannot understand why the most dreaded servants of the enemy would pursue a hobbit in this manner. I think it is time we told our newfound friends what they have gotten themselves into. I think that I think that is Ian McCullen. I'm not sure. Gandalf, so you are involved in this as well? Yeah, <laughs> you are involved. Wherever there is trouble and strife, and the enemy is stirring, there you will find Gandalf the Grey. Well then, can you explain why the enemy is so eager to get his hands on a poor little hobbit? You have more than earned such an explanation. Tell me, what do you know of Isildur's Bane? I know nothing of this. What is Isildur's Bane? Isildur's Bane is the Ring of Power. Forged by the Dark Lord Sauron, long ago. Into this ring, Sauron bound the greater part of his power, but it has been lost for many hundreds of years. Unless I miss my guess, that ring is lost hmm. no more. Quite right. After lying lost and nearly forgotten for centuries, Sauron's ring has once again been found. Do you mean to say the happening Aragorn rescued has come into possession of the Dark Lord's ring? I see now how close we came to complete ruin. But what will become of the ring now that it is safe in Rivendell? There is no safe resting place for the ring, not even here in Imladris. It is a danger to all who come near to it. There is only one course left to us. The ring must be destroyed. To do so, the ring will need to be cast into the same fires from which it was forged. Those of Mount Doom, in the land of Mordor. The hobbit, Frodo Baggins, has agreed to take it there. You're not going to send a hobbit off to Mordor alone? No, certainly <laughs> not. A fellowship will be formed. A fellowship of nine. Nine walkers set against Sauron's nine black riders. Among this fellowship will be representatives of all the free peoples of the world. <laughs> Elves, dwarves, and men. Better. What can the rest of us do to assist you? The Nazgul and Agandaur are dire threats. Hmm. We must learn all we can of their movements before the Fellowship is to depart. Scouts will be sent out in every direction to scour the lands around Rivendell. Your aid in this would be of great service to our cause. Very well. Where should we start? <laughs> Agandaur is our chief concern. Although the Nazgul are powerful foes, a mission here in the north is abundantly clear. We can only guess what Agandawa may be planning, or where he went after he escaped from you. I suspect he may be planning to move against us here. Sauron's hatred of the Elves is very great, and he does not forget the hand we played in his defeat during the War of the Last Alliance. If it is strength he wants, he may well find it among the Etten Moors. You know that region better than I. What can you hmm. tell me of the Etten Moors? The Ettenmoors are a spur of the Misty Mountains, lying almost directly north of Rivendell. It is a wild region of very rugged terrain, home to many trolls and giants. Oh, fine. I myself was in the Ettenmoors, but days ago. I saw no sign of Agandaur's presence. But neither did I encounter trolls. That fact oh, alone fine. is troubling. It could be that they are gathering in force, somewhere among the moors. <laughs> if so... It is best we learn of it before they can take us by surprise. We will scout the Edenmoors to see what we can discover. From what I have heard <laughs> of you, from Aragorn and Elrond's sons, I expected no less. Still, you have had a long road and hard fighting to get this far. 
Take what time you need to rest and recover before you set out. The Etten Moors are a dangerous place for the unprepared. Oh, thanks, Gandalf. The hospitality of my house is yours for as long as you wish. Okay. Is there a shop or something I can go to? Very pretty. Bobo! <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, okay. Where's the shop? Just looking, just looking for a place to repair and sell stuff. There's like a loss. Welcome, Aradan. I suspected you would find your way here before long. <laughs> I have gathered a few artifacts of interest on my travels. I believe you might be able to help me with them. Ah, these are work of Westernese, the lost land of Numenor. The men who forged these items were skilled indeed. You have the makings of a unique weapon here. Although these components were never part of a single work, I believe you have assembled everything I would need to make it so. The finished weapon would undoubtedly carry some elven qualities. What do you mean by that? Only that with a work such as this, the finished product is liable to reflect the nature of the smith who assembles it. If, for example, a dwarven smith were to complete this weapon, it might possess quite different qualities from the weapon I would create. I would be pleased if you would undertake this task. Of course. Very good. I will get started at once. There, it is finished. May this serve you well, my friend. On the box. Oh. Oh, wow. Look at that. Oh, it's fire, too. Neat. Okay. Looks like that's going to be it for this episode of Lord of the Rings War of the North. My name is Kyoden. Like, comment, and subscribe if you want to see more. Oh, cool. It keeps little poofs of fire. And I will see you all later.